The Vice Chancellor, Professor Oluwole Sitiru Bandio, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Adetonle Bandio, the Bossa. Mr. Kapil, FCA, the University Liberian, members of the University Government Council, visiting Vice Chancellor, former Municipal Officers of the University, the Provost, Deans of Colleges and Students of Death, your Royal Agencies, members of the University Senate, Directors of Centers and Institutes, Head of teaching and non teaching departments, my last commissioner and secretary, and of the Namura Mutual Center, distinguished staff, students, ladies, and gentlemen. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, today the university is having its 23rd inaugural lecture titled Honda and Not Friends, I mean, our friends, so, not fools. Contribution of mushrooms to food production and environmental management to be delivered by Professor Rushi Daniela Indoy, Professor of Applied Methodology in the College of Science and Information Technology courses. Ladies and gentlemen, the location of significance in the academic career of Professor Rushi Daniela Indoy. From his appointment to the full professorial chair in the university. Professor Adejoe was the former dean, student of their mission, and currently the dean, College of Science and Information Technology courses of this great system of learning. May I have the honor to invite the vice chancellor, Professor Banjo, to please declare this ceremony open. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this very important occasion by the power conferred on me by the Senate and Council of this great university. And here, this is not my nature ceremony. Thank you very much. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, ladies and gentlemen, can I invite our electoral lecture presenter? So, so please rise and remain standing for the presentation of this presentation. <laughs> Thank 
professor in the city of Milan at the degree was born in Lagos State on May 7, 1967. He attended the famous Methodist Boys High School, Lagos, in 40 April Boys High School. Professor at the degree is academic journey began in 1989 when he enrolled at the University of Lagos to study biology. He obtained his Bachelor of Science in 1994 and Master of Science in Berlin. In 1998, to secure his position as a teacher, he pursued a postgraduate degree in education at the University of Bangkok University at Goyi in 2005, where he obtained his postgraduate degree and PhD in psychology in 2009, demonstrating his weekly commitment to academic excellence and specialization in the field of psychology. He joined the services of the High School College of Education in Java in 1999 and continued when the institution transformed into the High School University of Education password in 2005. So then, he has recently showed the ranks of the various positions such as Lecturer of the Dean of the College of Science and Information Technology, Active Head of the Department. Of biological sciences, Dean of Student Affairs, and current day sent as the Dean of College of Science and Information Technology, Classic. That demonstrated academic and dedication to the university's development are commendable. Professor of Degree's research and interest lie in environmental biology, biotechnology research, and food and nutrition. He has made significant contributions to the field through numerous publications and academic journals, including the Journal of Agricultural Research and Development, Food Chemistry, and Advances in Food Sciences. His research on the biodegradation potential of fungi for waste water treatment and the production of exopolysaccharides from edible mushrooms highlight his commitment to find it. Sustainable solutions for environmental and agricultural challenges. Professor Abdigri's dedication extends beyond academics. He is actively involved in professional organizations like the Science Teachers Association of Nigeria, the Mycological Society of Nigeria, and the Society of Applied Microbiology, demonstrating his commitment to sharing knowledge and collaborating with colleagues. He has also served community through various associations, including the Tapswell Senior Staff for Creative Society and Methodist Boys High School Old Court Association. Professor Mushiki Damadola Akdejuri is a distinguished academician and researcher specializing in mycology with a value spanning over two decades. He has made significant contributions to biology and education, particularly in environmental biology technology research and food and nutrition. As a professor in the Department of Biology Education at Faisalam University of Education in Djibouti, Professor Adidri has demonstrated exceptional leadership and expertise. He has supervised numerous undergraduate and postgraduate research projects, fostering the growth and development of modern scientists in the field. His research interest in contrast a wide range of topics, including developed degradability of agro industrial wastes, developed limitations, potential for fungi, and the genetic differentiation of Nigerian mushrooms. Professor Adeje's work has been recognized through academic awards and distinctions, including the Society for Applied Microbiology President's Award and the Textbook Institutional Based Research Award. With the report of publications written in learned journals and conference proceedings, Professor Abdelish's quality contributions are significantly done, which the scientific community's understanding of mycology and related fields. He is an active member of several different societies, including the Science Teacher Association of Nigeria, the Mycological Society of Nigeria, and the American Society of Microbiology. Beyond his academic endeavors, Professor Adegui is actively engaged in non-teaching services, 
So the university and community demonstrated that this commitment to holistic development and sophisticated end of leadership. This dedication to academic excellence, research, innovation, and community service on the sport is true as a pillar of the academic community. In this leisure time, Professor Adjuri enjoys traveling, reading, and listening to music, balancing his scholarly classes with personal interests, his more focus and contributions to academic. And the community is a centralized function of advancing knowledge and positive change in society. Please join us in celebrating Professor Adjuri's accomplishments and a level of participation for the future of technology as a present. The concept of the inaugural lecture of the Taishan University of Education. The same ladies and gentlemen, may I invite Professor Luashi <laughs> Yamilona Alijui to present his inaugural lecture. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, the Deputy Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, the Bossa, the Liberian, the Provost of the Postgraduate College, the Deans of Colleges and Students of Care, the Director of Academic Programs, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. I'm grateful to the Almighty God for making it possible for me to be alive today. I give my creator all the glory for giving me the special privilege to be numbered among the living souls. I appreciate him for the grace to stand here at the moment to give the 23rd inaugural lecture of Taishala University of Education, the first in the Department of Valor Science of this great university. I also thank the Vice Chancellor for giving me this once in a life opportunity. The title of my lecture is Fungi are Friends, Not Foods Contributions of Mushroom to Food Production and Environmental Life. What are fungi? Fungi are four. Producing eukaryotic organisms feeding on organic matter, including molds, yeasts, and mushrooms. About 800,000 to 120,000 species of fungi have been described to date, although the total number of species is estimated at around 1.5 million. This will render fungi. One of the least explored biodiversity resources of our planet. There are two directions that can be relied upon in the classification of fungi. First, fungi exhibit some important characteristics and phenotypic properties, and thus studying their biological activities in nature can be a basis for determining the taxonomy group to which they belong. The second approach is to rely on the molecular analysis of the fungi nucleic acid, that is the DNA of the fungi, sequences to determine the degree of their similarity in environmental conditions and biological patterns that may have occurred in the fungi space. It should be noted that adopting these two views is a correct decision that can be taken in making a correct classification process for fungi space. Recent classification schemes 
have placed many fungi groups into true fungi, which are called eumycota, with distinct characteristic and morphological features. However, there are still some fungi groups causing confusion to the expert, and these are called pseudofungi. Most important of these are the eumycota. Nevertheless, fungi are the circumscribed by the following set of characteristics. One, they are nutrition. They are either heterotrophic, meaning the lack of synthesis of the synthetic abandon. So they feed by absorbing rather than ingestion. Two, the vegetative state occurring or in the substrate, typically at the non motile mycelium of height, showing the internal photoplastic streaming. Three, cell wall. Typically present that the cell wall, just as plastic, usually based on glucans and Rarely on glucans and activity. Number four, nuclear status. They are eukaryotic, which may be uni or multi-nucleate. The talus being homo or heterocaryotic. But the life cycle, they may exhibit single life cycle or more complex life cycle. Reproduction. Reproduction of fungi might be sexual, that is through nuclear fusion and meiosis, or asexual, which is through mitotic nuclear division. Number seven, propagus. They are typically microscopic small spores produced in high numbers. Multi spores are confined to certain groups. Eight, Spore caps, which is either microscopic or macroscopic, and showing shapes, but only limited to differentiation. Habitat. Fungi are ubiquitous in nature, which means that they can be found in various types of habitat, which could be terrestrial habitat or freshwater habitat, but they are less found in marine habitat. Number 10, ecology. They would exhibit or exist as sporosol, mutualistic, symbols, parasitic, or hyperparasites. And 11, their distribution. They are cosmopolitan because they are found almost in every habitat. Mushrooms. Now, a mushroom, which we commonly call Olu, which can be identified by everybody, is a fleshy, spore-bearing fruit body of the fungus, typically in the my sex. They are produced above ground. Most of us that have seen Olu, that's the local thing, you find that you can see their fruit bodies above ground, and that's what we've been recognizing them. On this food source, hence the word mushroom is often applied to these uh, fungi, the bacteriomycetes and the agathomycetes. They have them. We look at the slide. They have them. They have the heart, which is the large part that we actually uh, recognize. And they also have gills on the underside of the car. These gills produce microscopic spores that help the fungus spread across the ground or on its occupant surface, July 12, 2020. According to Pasiti et al. 2008, mushrooms are macrofungi with distinct fruit bodies, which are visible to the naked eye. Mushroom occurs 
in the vast way of Africa, ranging from the Arctic to the tropics. They exhibit preference for a particular substance in different localities. Most portions have a preference for woody areas, grounds, gardens, parks, rotting wood, manure dung, and wet roadside. Past the and in 1993. They are also found on deficits, decaying organic matter, and damp soil, rich in organic matter. Most of all that are stained mushrooms. You find them growing on dead dogs, old roots, or on soil. That is their habitat. Role of mushroom in nature. Unlike plants, mushrooms cannot synthesize their own food from sun energy because they lack chlorophyll and therefore they have to develop special methods of living, which include the following. Well, they can sim out symbolic means that these mushrooms live in association with other plants. And this association is called mycorrhizal association. And it occurs between the roots of plants and the vegetative system of a mushroom. Mycorrhizal association benefits both organisms. The mushroom helps the tree extract mineral and water from the soil, while the tree supplies the mushroom with sugar compounds, which the mushroom use actually for food and production. Examples of symbiotic mushrooms are polyporous species and heterochite species. Another class of mushrooms in terms of their living are called the sacrifice. Yeah. The mushroom acts as the components that need to be held in the grading and breaking down uh, organic matter, dead organic matter, and releasing their nutrients into the soil. It feeds by digesting the organic matter and at the same time returns nutrients to the soil. Examples of such mushrooms are uh, Oriundaria species, Shantemus. And polyporous species. The third classification of mushroom based on their living is uh, we call them the parasite, parasitic living. These are mushrooms that can invade the living host and obtain nutrients. We all know what the parasite is. That is, some of us are familiar with the worms, like big worms living in us. These are parasites because they feed on your food, which you have. So, there are certain categories of mushrooms also, which are parasites. So, they invade the living host and obtain nutrients, often causing damage to the function and structure of the host. Examples of these are Arimela species, Paraxis radicata, and Pyrus species cultivation of mushrooms. Mushroom productions date back to over 1,000 years ago. The edible mushrooms for Eulalia was cultivated in China as early as 680 China 1999. The first lentinous edible mushroom was also cultivated on law in China at 1080, China and Mills, 1989. About 20 mushroom species are produced commercially worldwide since 2004. Cultivated mushroom species on fresh fruits recipes include Doritos species or Indaria. And species. Some other species cultivated on slightly composted degrocellulose materials are uh, Oberella species, 
and comprise species. Those on web composted materials or animal dogs, examples of these are agamemnons, products such as the pewter and mochera grow on soil and humus. The most popular species of mushroom cultivated all over the world are Lentinus edoides and Florida species. Uh, this is the work showing uh, different countries that produce mushrooms all over the world. These are uh, the percentage of mushrooms. You can see on that table that the country with the highest percentage of mushroom production in the world is China. Table 2 also shows production based on African countries. Unfortunately, we can see that Nigeria is not on these uh, table, so we must do more in order to produce uh, more mushrooms. Mushrooms can be combined only into three groups, which are one, heavy mushrooms, which we all know because some of us eat them, two, non heavy mushrooms. And three, poisonous mushrooms. Now, mushrooms, like the it means that these mushrooms are commonly consumed. People will eat them without any other effect. And we can see this map in the pictures here. Examples of any mushrooms that we have we have Bovarina species and we have the uh, two species. Why are they getting Because of their, in terms of their, uh, their uh, mineral they contain lots of minerals, proteins, fat, and protein uh, of the minerals. Two, non edible mushrooms. These mushrooms are called non edible because they are not palatable. If you eat them, they are not sweet, they are tough, so they are not palatable. Eat it. And that's why they are called non edible mushrooms. These mushrooms, though their consumption will not lead to any cell damage or illness, if you give them, not cause any adverse effect, but they are not palatable. And that is why we classify them as non edible mushrooms. Example, we have uh, the other side. We have uh, polyporous species and canadama species. The top class are the poisonous mushrooms. They are poisonous because if you eat them, there is no remedy for them. Example of this, we have the Amanita species are more common. We have Amanita muscari and Amanita paloides. They look very behind when you see them, but eating them leads to death. So please, if you want to eat mushrooms for consumption, please consult a qualified mycologist that can identify these mushrooms that are edible, non edible. And poisonous. So, example of this, we have Amanita paloides, Amanita muscari, Amanita bed, and Agaricola and Damus. So, we have the stuff which are displayed. My contribution to the food, to the field of food and environmental ecology. One, having mushrooms. And their contributions to food nutrients. Mushrooms, they are high deficiencies of minerals and proteins in the diet of people in most African countries. And therefore, there is a need to find an alternative substitute to meat production because of its high cost. Mushrooms have been recognized as food for a very long time. Their palatability is exploited as taste and flavor enhancer in cooking and food preparation. Based on important studies, mushroom nutritive contents include high protein content, presence of essential amino acids, as well as commonly occurring non essential amino acids and amines. They are highly rich in several vitamins, such as vitamin C, lycopavine. They are also very rich in minerals such as calcium, potassium, sodium, phosphorus in appreciable amount. 
as a result of the nutritional content of mushroom. food. Many people in some part of Africa require high consumption of food products of mushrooms as nutrient source. My early research focused on the nutrition of mushroom. Are you here at all? 20 dollar. Are you here and today 2012? Are you here at all? 2013 and Adejo Yana 2014. In our first presentation, Adejo Yana 2009, the nutritional analysis of lentilous controls showed that carbohydrates was the most abundant nutrient, followed by protein content. White fat was the least abundant nutrient. Our study concluded that healthy mushrooms will be rich in protein and carbohydrates, but low in fat and rich in amino, in micro and macronutrients. In another study, at the end of the year 2013, also reported similar trends in the value of protein, carbohydrates, fats, and macro and micronutrients in every mushroom. We look at that too, we will discover that uh, the value of the as compared to other leguminous plants is comparable to what we find in mushrooms. These values are comparable to that of leguminous plants. Mushroom nutrients would indeed be a valuable addition to human. Two, enzyme production. Enzymes have played a crucial role in the challenges of mankind through the use of different kinds of biological processes for the capacity of application. They are contains that break down and convert compounds to produce single products. Fungal enzymes are compatible, efficient, and proper products for many uses. In medicinal application, industrial processing, bioremediation processes, and agricultural application, Kamada et al. 2022. Diaper mushroom species have been identified as sources of ectopolysaccharide, lactase, lactase, and many manganese elastase. Ectopolysaccharide. Are high molecular weight sugar residues secreted by microorganisms into their surrounding environment and have been found useful in pharmaceutical industries because of their health values, in which include physiological and tumor immunomodulating activities, technologic evidence that lacked and biopsies have also been reported. In many biodegradational activities. Notable examples of endocrinosaccharide products from mushrooms are one, Christine from Corinopsis versicolor, Lentina from Lentina edonis, and Schizophyllum from Schizophyllum community of Utah. Mr. My initial research in this area was an investigation on the effect of cultural conditions on biomass and lactate production in subject in survival medium by the Shizupanan community in Nigeria and Nigeria, Nigeria, Pasadena, 2009. From our investigation, we concluded that increasing the temperature of the incubating medium increases lactate activity. Optimal lactic activity was recorded at 28 degrees Celsius, that is equal to five. And the highest lactic activity at pH 5 among the pH assessed equal to 6. Nutritional sources involving manus and its expert also supported the highest lactic enzyme production respectively. Another study reported the influence of organic and inorganic inducers on the production of lactase by 
Ethnic Parasolos in Sotlaki, Adejo Yeke Tol, 2010. This study showed that maximum lacking activity was obtained from the medium induced with sugarcane baggage, while for the inorganic inducers, control basal medium induced the maximum lacking activity. The good day. The study, the result revealed that Latinos Parasolos can be a potential lacking inducer. In addition to the earlier study on hectare production by mushroom, we carried out another study which highlighted that mushrooms was able to produce ethylene saccharide. Adejoy et al. 2012 reported the cultural conditions for optimal co production of ethylene saccharide and fungus biomass by an edible mushrooms. The result from our study showed that Lentinus Parasol produced appreciable amount of ethnopolysaccharide. In the previous study, for even at all, 2019, evaluated and characterized environmental and nutritional conditions optimal for deep to original mycelial goods and ethnopolysaccharide production using batch culturing and diverse respectively, we are able to determine that glucose, yeast, sodium chloride, and sodium diphosphate were stimulant for both ethylene production and mycelial groups under cultural condition of pH 6 and 30 degrees Celsius for 15 days. The summary of this is that these mushrooms that are tested are able to produce the essential enzymes, which uh, the applications can be used in agricultural, medicinal, and industrial processes. Number three, medicinal uses. Mushrooms are greatly planted for their medicinal properties. Medicinal mushrooms have, have important health benefits and exhibit a broad spectrum of pharmacological activities, including anti allergic, antibacterial, antifungal, anti inflammatory, antioxidative, antiviral, antidepressive, anti diabetic, and hypertensive activities. What agent cultures have known? on the effects of mushrooms in promoting health and vitality, as well as increasing body adaptive abilities, have recently been confirmed by research. We survived that study. The study that we started in Adi Shokwa and Adi 2016 investigated and reported the phytochemical components of first level Nigerian mushrooms. In the study, we observed the presence of bar compounds in all the mushrooms aspects. Alkaloids, phenol, and carbonates were highest in chlorotis or structures, which was a mushroom. White tannin was higher in chlorotis or minerals. These bioactive compounds in the mushrooms may be responsible for their cellulopathic uses. Our mushrooms have been used even right in ancient times for as medicinal, uh, as medicinal components in medicinal production. And our study has thus confirmed because these bioactive compounds that we are able to assess in our study are also active in medicinal products. Potential number four potential in bioremediation. The accumulation of waste in our environment is on the increase and poses significant environmental problems. The common methods of remediation is waste, waste are through burning and the use of chemicals, which by extent is another source of contaminants in the environment. A safe and economic way of remediating this waste is through the use of mushrooms, a process called micro remediation. Nigerian mushrooms 
by a potential candidate for this process. Our inner work is at the period of 2004, investigated the ability of the final community uh, ability for the product digestion to mineralize the reducing form, tables 11 to 14. Our colleague revealed that the mushroom were able to amend the soil by increasing by the increase in the mineral contents of the amended soil. In another study, Adejoya Fakti Metiola investigated biodegradation of agro waste by some Nigerian micro fungi. These are mushroom, table 15. All the fungi demonstrated significant varying levels of immunotic capabilities with different degrees of living degradation. The highest form of living content was recorded in sustain fermented by the elements when compared with the other content with increasing incubation time. Our team also investigated the environmental potential of maintenance consumers in Nigerian wine fungus for building wastewater at all 2015. We are able to show that the level of inorganic metals are there. That is sodium, calcium, magnesium, zinc, copper, copper, cadmium, and lead in the building waste portal was significantly reduced when we combated with the maintenance processes after the initial period of 5, 10, 15, and 20 days. Respectively. Hence, we concluded that this indigenous mushroom possesses the potential for bioabsorption of inorganic metals in the building wastewater and thermal in bioregulation. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, it was concluded on, this basis, on the basis of this result that white blood fungi, which are mushroom, offer very little alternative. To conventional ways of disposing waste materials. Conclusion is a large answer. It is worthy to know that within the time allotted to me for this lecture, I am able to provide information on the benefits of much food. Such benefits found in different areas. Including food uses and environment, which may be exploited in promoting food security and environmental hygiene in developing countries like Nigeria. Recommendations number one extensive, an extensive campaign for mushroom cultivation through teaching can be taken to our secondary schools and national institutions as an entrepreneurial field. Capable of reducing the problem of unemployment and poverty among the youths. Number two, in the western Niger Delta, we have our pollution as paralyzing crop farming and mission activities. Mushroom farming can be a very good alternative. Also, the spent compost that is the byproduct of mushroom cultivation. Can be found into the oil and dead soil as the means of our remediation, which may constitute an economically viable approach to promoting environmental management. Number three, which research investigation are further required in the nation's forests to identify and domesticate the rich flora of mushrooms within. This will have against the potential medicinal, food, and environmental cleanup benefits. Now, the three recommendations are summarized up that we can help in reducing our poverty and malnutrition if we take the mushroom population to our classrooms. That is the idea of hashtag. And two, also in the United States, we have 
purpose of fire waste. It must soon have been used as fire regulating agents. They can help to fill up the bag because they are not and break down oil so that they can become less and less. And three, that the Nigerian forest is thinning with lots of unidentified mushroom species. So everyone is needed that the government can identify them and also identify the patients which we can use without having to start for food and also for the environmental cleanup benefits. Acknowledgement. I must express my all avoid gratitude to God for all his manifold blessings, marvelous grace, and his inescapable blessing in all my endeavors. His love for me cannot be over. I'm grateful to the Abiju, to the Jacqueline family unit. I pray tribute to my daily friends, Mrs. Stephen and the Abiju unit, and Mrs. for all your love and support. I really appreciate them. For investing in me. My personal association goes to my teacher, who have shaped my life in front of the second school. Thank you for modeling my career. I also want to sincerely appreciate all my lecturers, while in the University of Lagos and the University of Lagos, for my degrees. I wish to really express my gratitude to Professor Michael Maski for his invaluable contribution to the idea to. Stage of my research and my master's dissertation and PhD thesis. I appreciate his father in law and concern. I pray that God will wonderfully reward him, sir. I appreciate Professor Henry Jonathan for assisting me during my PhD program. He has given some principles of applied psychology. They have helped me greatly in the identification of my fungi specimens and making his office available for my use. Throughout my search for God shall always favor you. I appreciate Professor C. Omadeli Pepe for being ever available with sister counsel and contribution during my PhD research and writing. I also want to appreciate Professor J. Obayeke of the High Master in Bath, University of Bath, who made this laboratory available for some of my analysis. I want to appreciate Professor Lee Ujomi and Dr. B.C. Adibaba for their immediate contribution toward the success of my research. I acknowledge their love, care, and forbearance intended to be morally and academically during my program. I pray that the Almighty God will meet all your needs in life. I also want to thank my past members who have impacted my life positively. These are Professor A. W. M. of Bates, Professor T. B. S. Bates, Professor Minichi, Professor M. Kakala Bates, Professor Abu Guru Bates, Professor P. Odebia, Professor Joy Kuzo, Professor O. Oshundi, Professor B. D. Osho, Professor A. Sidney Badeo, Professor B. Abiyo Odebia, Professor O. J. Koyetinchi, and Professor A. B. Ayodele. It's about that closer. Permit me to specially thank Dr. Delio Kunosu for employing me as a staff in the Gaspar College of Education. That's it. I'm grateful to the Paulia, Vice Chancellor of this noble institution, Professor Carl Kudish, who introduced me to the Department of Administration by appointing me as the Director Head of the Department of Biological Science. The administrative knowledge gained from this office has helped me a lot in my Endeavor. I also appreciate Professor Shekwa Wilson, the second vice chancellor of this noble university. I must especially appreciate the effort and dedication of the third vice chancellor, the third vice chancellor, Professor Bilaji, to the task of mission. She appointed me as acting dean of student office, a position I held for seven years. Thank you. The immediate past vice chancellor. Professor Abayu Daniela Jaliba, the President of the Panel of Professional Education, Science and Technology of the State. I have everything to be grateful to you for being here for me to write to the Professor Professor Yashia. I really appreciate your valuable contributions towards my academic endeavors. To the President of the Panel, Professor Olu Kwale Sikilu Panel, a brother, confident, 
and the boss who are pleased to associate with me. I'm especially grateful for granting me this opportunity to pay my bill as a professor through today's inaugural lecture. The Almighty God shall continue to love you, sir. Please permit me to appreciate all the happenings of the College of Science and Information Technology. If there are areas we can start up for education, please. Professor Jode TW, Professor Nikade A. Lakes, Professor Abu A. Lakes, Professor Adam A. Professor Bando Owens, Professor O. Mr. K. A. Mr. 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 Mr.
Dr. H. Chikazini and Mrs. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to thank you for your time and being part of this historical event. Well, I believe you might have uh, learned one or two things from the lecture of the believers. 
are invited. In the nation's forest, you are going to try and domesticate the rich flora of mushrooms within. They are, this, according to him, will help enhance the potential medicinal, food, and environmental cleanup benefits. Thank you for your attention. And on this note, Professor Adeju has been still and as the chief judge of this case today, I want to admit and discharge him so he cannot sit properly on that street.
So my baby brother, means for you, Masala, I think you are here. Also, this doctor, Mrs. Cobbett, I think it is sister. Thank you. And I'm Mrs. or one brother or mother in the yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the program. Until next time, we are meeting for the 21st inaugural lecture here. Say thank you. And I remind you back to the world is secure. So, the clear is closed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to declare this inaugural major ceremony closed. Thank you very much. God bless you.